And also in the news, the National Universities Commission, NUC, says it is collecting data from universities to assess their readiness for resumption of academic activities. The commission also said efforts are ongoing to resolve the strike by the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, that threatens to further delay the resumption of academic activities in the universities. The executive secretary of NUC, Abubakar Rashid, said this during a press conference on the contributions of the Nigerian universities to the national response to COVID-19 in Abuja on Tuesday. Day. Nigeria closed its tertiary institutions along with lower schools in March due to the coronavirus outbreak. And joining us now is Professor Tony Afejuku, a lecturer in the University of Benin. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Good with, morning. Morning to you. With the gradual easing of the lockdown, exiting students in secondary schools resuming also, do you think it's time university students come back to campus? Oh, uh, well, uh, let me say straight away that I have my fears and my doubts because nothing much has been done by the federal government and the NUC to see that universities resume as it were, as expected. Also, as far as I'm concerned, it's still on strike, and uh, conditions that ASU has tabled for the strike to be suspended or called off, as at this moment, have not been met by the federal government. So what do we say, what do they mean by saying that universities will soon begin, uh, as it were, to begin lectures? So the point is really is that the federal government is not totally committed for uh, the school to, to be resumed. Uh, uh, so what I'm saying in a nutshell the federal government should come out clean and make sure that ASU's request and the conditions given are realistically taken care of, as it were. The conditions must be met, and the request should be seen to have been totally and comprehensively uh, responded to. That's the only way I think that schools, universities can resume and resume and resume for studies. So what other question? Do, do, yeah, do, I, 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 um, we, we truly were referring to preparedness with regards to um, the COVID-19 pandemic and bringing students back, you know, into lecture halls. Um, but, you know, from what you've said, it seems like there, there's two problems now. There's one with ASU and then, you know, also likely one with, you know, the pandemic. Yes. Uh, regarding the pandemic, I'm not fully convinced that universities, public universities, I mean, all over the country, have been adequately prepared to resume and to take care of whatever can be done to take care of the pandemic, I would say, Wahala. Don't forget that public universities, are unlike private universities, in terms of population, the facilities are not there to take adequate care of what? The, the, the pandemic. I mean, for example, the testing that have, that have uh, been going on of all over the place, how are we sure that we are getting the expected results? The, the testing, very few, they're very few, uh, as it were. So, with respect to that, we can say that universities are not prepared. 
And did the federal government provide the funds? Will they provide the funds to take care of all these things before resumption uh, actually uh, kicks off? Will the federal government accede to the request of ASU, valid request of ASU? I think uh, from what I'm saying so far, uh, it's a negative answer. They just want to trick the universities to resume. And even the university resume, I see foresee a situation when even students themselves will protest because the pandemic is real. It's real. All right. And, not, not, and the university students have to be adequately protected. It's only the federal government who can do this. All right. Let, let's also now talk about the level of preparedness, you know, in yeah. the University of Benin. Um, of course, with the new leadership, um, a new VC, um, what, what would you say um, is the level of preparedness? Is the University of Benin ready to go ahead and reopen if the federal government gives a go ahead? Uh, I don't belong to <laughs> the university administration in any way. Uh, what I can say is that the new vice chancellor, as far as I can see, has done the little and much she can do, given the prevailing circumstances. As never witnessed before, Unit Ben is very clean, very, very clean. The environment is taken care of. Everybody, I mean, those who are on the ground now, are living, I would say, healthily. So that's kudos to use that balance which we must give to the new vice uh, uh, chancellor. But that the federal government provided the funds to her so that she can adequately take care of um, the pandemic problem disease. I don't, I don't think uh, that, that has been done. I don't think she's got any money, adequate money adequate funding to take care of the pandemic. Uh, well, I, don't, I don't know. As I said, I don't belong to administration, but I can't answer that question, which I'm not posing. I think you should get the query. Send the question straight to her, to the PRO of the university, and even to the registrar as well. All right. So they can answer that question. And even the boss can answer that question. Uh, so uh, the question of... Uh, Getting ready for the pandemic is something that um, I cannot totally and comprehensively uh, answer. All right. Uh, uh, Thank, you. That's it. Yes. Thank you very much, um, yeah. Tony Fedrick, from the University of Benin. Thank you so much for yeah. sharing with us. Okay. Thank you.